Hello guys, second part of Sean Hewick and uh, it's got Dylan Tate, Dylan Tate on it, which is a person on PC and we'll try to figure out how to get into this. I think he sort of made an envelope out of it. Hope I didn't cut into it. Yeah, man. Sweet. Man, these are nice. Woo! I got a Sean Hewitt autograph. YouTube PC for life, baby. Hewitt Grass. Sean, you have one heck of a damn... Uh, Autograph, dude. Check that out. Hewitt Graph, sweet spot signature. PC for life. Then I uh, got the uh, Legends of the Gridiron. Hewitt Graphs. This one has the Duke. The Duke. As Wilson, whatever. And sweet spot signature. Um, probably get Dylan Tate to sign in there. <coughs> and then. Sign there. Sign there. And then I'm going to try. Um, I know a friend of mine sent me some of these. But this sort of looks like the one that he sent me. But um, anything. I'm going to send, try to send that one to Vince Carter. Maybe he can uh, sign that one and this one too. Actually, all three. I'm going to try to, I'm going to send him all three to see if he would sign them. I'm not really um, expecting anything to come back from these, but it would be nice if Vince Carter signed, signed, uh, the TTMs, but uh, I've never gotten anything back from Vince Carter myself. Uh, but you know, I need to buy me some of these for the for the shipping. I need to buy some of those for the TTMs. Uh, and then we got Sean Hewick. I mean, not Sean Hewitt. Cassick. Jason Cassick. Now, here's how he ships his cards. In a plastic, puts tape all around it. As long as they don't touch the cards or the top loaders, I don't care. I really don't like tape myself. Myself, I really don't like tape. Um, garbage Pail Kids. Woo! First one I've ever gotten sent to get graded. Adam Bomb. Garbage Pail Kids. Sweet! Uh, Michael Carter Williams. Then we got a Mark McGuire, 85 tops. 85 tops, baby. That one actually looks good, man. That one actually looks nice. I'd probably get a nine. I would say a nine. Then we got Terrence Gore. Terrence Gore Auto. 
and that is from Sean. I mean, from Jason. Jason Kasich or Kasich. I think it's Kasich though. But anyway, uh, guys, I'll take care of these. Um, just a bit of advice. Um, not advice. What am I talking about? Um, I could use some, but not on this. Um, I'm going to start something new next month uh, to where maybe I have a, a contest, maybe, of uh, just for Facebook people, the people that are subbed to me that are on Facebook. Um, maybe have one contest a month for a free grade, maybe, or a, a free submission to PSA, not to BGS, they're too damn expensive, but to PSA, maybe that'll bring in some, um, people into the group to do a, to do submissions. I want to get that room growing to where I would probably um, start charging maybe not for the people that have already done it that know me personally but to maybe expand outside of the grading company so to speak do it as a business and not just per se um, as friends do it as a business to where they send so many cards in I could give them a deal because I pay for my membership uh, there's two others that pay for the membership also but I don't know how that'll be next year whether they'll stick with it or not because some people will buy the membership from PSA and they will only use it maybe three times a year um, some people the, like say I got one guy that that bought into my membership and he's only used it two times I think uh, but the other member uses it every time I send something off so <clears throat> go figure um, I think it was a in my opinion, it was a waste of money for the person to send me the money to get the membership and him not take take advantage of it. Not unless he's uh, behind on bills or something, maybe. That could be a reason, but uh, we won't go there. But anyway, that's what I would like to do. That's what my aspects of the um, Score More Collectibles group would be like. Um to eventually evolve into a business and uh, have something for me to do when I retire instead of going to work for Walmart. <laughs> if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. I don't want to go to work for Wally World. <laughs> Please don't make me go to Wally World. But anyway, um, if I could do this as a part-time business when I retire from wherever I'm working now, I would love to do this part-time. Uh, just sit here at my house at my computer and send off cards all day. But it would get pretty boring, but shoot, it's fun doing this. It's fun handling you guys' cards and seeing what card you guys submit. I mean, some of these cards, I mean, I've never seen them before. Like this card right here. I know it's new, but Buck Farmer? Come on, man. You can do better than that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You. But um, this one right here, I definitely think it'll get a 9 just by looking at it. I mean, it's really centered. I haven't looked, up at, looked at it up close. To see if there's any print marks on it. But just from looking at it frontwards and backwards, this some bitch is centered perfectly. I think it'll at least get a nine, if not a ten. 
I've never gotten a 10 on one of these. Never got a 9. It's usually an 8. But anyway, uh, that's my so-called, um, what I want to do with the group, basically. Basically, I want to eventually evolve into a business to where I charge so much per card, a flat rate per card. And if the cards, if, if they have so many cards, like one card would cost, say, $18. Uh, another card would cost, uh, if you sent like 10 cards in, it would cost $10 a card you, uh, or $12 a card. Or if you sent 20 to 50 cards, it would be $10 a card. You know, that sort of thing. I would like to do that. Uh, just charge a basic rate, no sales tax and Bob, no, no, um, no insurance or shipping. All that money's included, and that includes the money you send it back to you too. So um, I'll just have to figure out the business aspect of it and what I need to do to make it happen. So we'll let you know something about that in the near future. You guys have a good one, and God bless.